Clear skies meant no delays in the state baseball tournament. Back on track with Spash taking the field this afternoon. News 9 Sports Director Alex Stewart joins us now from Grand Chute with a recap on the game. The Spash Panthers entered the state tournament as the number one seed as the seventh ranked team in Division I and riding a 23 game winning streak. But sometimes it's just not your day. And unfortunately for the Panthers, that day came in their semifinal matchup against Whitefish Bay. With six D1 college commits on the roster, including Brewers manager Craig Council's son, Spash knew the Blue Dukes would be their biggest test of the season and could not afford to let them get rolling early. But roll they did with four runs in the first inning. Panthers pitcher Ty Reckner was able to end that inning's damage there. However, Whitefish Bay's offensive onslaught was relentless, while Spash were just unable to find their footing all night, as their amazing season would come to a close with a 17-0 defeat. I hope they remember a team that, you know, won 26 games, 23 straight games, conference champions, sectional champions, you know, fighters. That's what I'll remember about the team. A team, I know it's one of the most enjoyable teams I've worked with. I, I, I feel very lucky to coach at a great school like Spash, but even luckier when I get groups like this. Coach Terpstra also said that the future is bright for this program, but that's a thought for tomorrow. Tonight belongs to the memories and accomplishments of this team. And what they accomplished? One of the best seasons in school history. The first state berth since 2014, the first win at state since 2013, and finishing as one of the four best teams in Wisconsin. And while not the ending they'd hoped for, once the agony of defeat has faded, it's a season they'll be proud of and one they'll reminisce on for the rest of their lives. From Grand Chute, I'm Alex Stewart, News 9 Sports. Thank you very much, Alex. 